Okay, so listen. We're playing Dredge again today. I'm hoping to get the second ending, as well as finish our encyclopedia and maybe the few other little side quests that are still outstanding. Let's get right into it. Okay, so we last left off with the ending where the big sea monster emerges and our wife floats up from the ocean. So, let's see what else there is for us. Because I know that we wanted to find those stone tablets. So potentially, we can take care of that this time. So we've got to go back to Devil's Spine and take a look around. You approach a hooded figure. They are standing expectantly, vermilion red robes blowing in the wind. Fishermen, serve. The voice from the hood cuts through the humid air. Deliver the vessel. The hooded figure produces an old paper scroll. They point at the shape on it, a cusk eel. I hate it here. I hate it here so much. I was like, yay, we never have to go back. Here we are. Well, let's use our... Fancy dancy. Nice. Love it. Oh, is that them? Yeah. Cusk eel. Perfect. Can I get another one? Boop, 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 boop. All right. Ooh, there you are. Deliver the vessel. Yes, I have the cusky eel for you figure draws a ceremonial knife from their robe and slices into the fish, cutting out the heart. They place it on the stand in front of them. Bring down the sky. Another shape on a scroll. This one looks like a sailfish. Okay. Let's hold off on the sailfish. Do a little upgrading. Okay. Upgrade the cargo. Now... Repair. Ooh. Can I buy that? Yeah. Can I put this here? Cool. Oh, I don't have. Huh. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna have to go back. I actually don't think I need those. I need metal salvage. Oh, hey. I don't actually want to hang out with you. We're not actually friends. There's some wood. Okay, we've got some wood. What kind of fish are you? Oh, okay, there we go. I got the grouper. Mm-hmm. Oh, I caught an anchovy. Hey, that's cool. Yeah, I caught a little anchovy. Look at how puny. Teeny tiny. Small baby. This one was oceanic. Okay, I think I can uninstall this. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. The eyes are back. BFFs. Oh, it's just a campfire. Okay. Oh, you untalk next to an old rowboat. Somebody is here. He's hunched over by the campfire, muttering to himself. You cautiously approach. The old mayor? Did you, did you throw it back? What? The book. I think you've mistaken me for somebody else. I'm not seeing things. It's really you, isn't it? Are you okay? Who do you think I am? He turns away, wringing his hands. He speaks to the fire. It was him, him and his damned wife. They dredged up that old book, but something, something cloaked in the fog, followed it out, right through the boat. Boom! The man makes crude explosion noises and motions wide with his hands, still talking to the fire, as though phantoming, pantomiming? Yeah, pantomiming a story to a child. It spoke. It said it was coming for our breath, that we wouldn't be needing it soon, and the darkness crashed down. 
An age later, some of us washed up on the shore, and him still clutching that book. Throw it back, we cried, as the fog rolled ashore. We thought, surely, it can still be undone. What book? Silver and crimson. The book covered in her blood. Was that the book that the collector has? You're not making any sense. Throw it back. The man closes his eyes tight as he holds back tears. His voice calls, falls to a whisper. Please, the lighthouse keeper. She saw. She knows where it came from. Where it, where it needs to go. What does the lighthouse keeper have to do with this? She saw it all. That ruinous day. Ask her. Beg her. Tell her I... He trails off his pace, collapsing in sorrow. What do you know about the fog? It cloaks that calamitous thing. It's evil. Haven't you felt it? Tell me more about this book. Silver and crimson. Silver and crimson. He rocks back and forth, staring through the flames. Oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna sleep here with the crazy man. Alright. I thought I'd been here before. Oh, sword, swordfish. Yes, 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 yes. Swordfish? Sailfish? Redfish? Bluefish? Sailfish. Perfect. Treasure? <clears throat> Sorry, if I sound froggy, it's because I am getting over a cold. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Mr. Whale. Could you please not do that? You spooked me. You spooked me with your jumps, with your big boy jumps. What is this? Makeshift dock. Ah! Uh... <laughs> Hold on. What is he doing here as well? Didn't we just see him at one that was, that had a palm tree on it? I don't think I'm losing my mind. I don't think I'm losing my mind, but I could be. Could you fuck off with the... What is that? <laughs> Look at that good view of all the eyes watching me. I'm doing great. Shipyard. Here we go. Okay, I'm okay again. I think okay is subjective in this game. Bring down the sky. Another shape on a scroll. This one looks like a sailfish. Yes. The ceremonial knife comes out again and the large heart is extracted. It's placed on a stand beside the first. Raise the deep. The figure points to a shape on the last scroll. This one's a frilled shark. Okay. I've got those before. I think this is oceanic, so I should see about dropping some nets. Yeah. Let's do that. Gotta come back over here anyway, so... Did I just drop a bait? I did. Ooh, I didn't realize that you could get that guy with the bait. Raise the deep. Yes. They drag the shark's body around to find the right angle before plunging the knife in and pulling out the heart. They place it on a stand beside the others. Without looking at you, they take a book from inside their robe and throw it on into the sand at your feet. The figure kneels before the fish hearts and becomes still. You leave before they decide they need any more hearts. I got a book. Nautical engineering. Okay. Ooh, here we go. That's what we wanted. So the other one should be in a similar place like this. So it's just a matter of exploring a little bit more. Kablooey. Are you what I'm looking for? Yep, perfect. The 
Lovely. Okay, we've got all the stone tablets, I think. The trader takes the stone tablet from you and lays it on the on a table next to the others. Hmm. Judging by the age of the stone and the shape of the glyph, these are part of the same set. I'll keep this for now until you come across any others. It looks like they join together to form a square, so hopefully there's just one more to find. Oh, you've got another. Wonderful. Please let me see. Yes, I do. The trader takes the stone tablet from you and places it alongside the others. On the undersides of the tablets, new glyphs begin to form, casting an eerie light onto the low ceiling. Hmm. Yes, go on. He begins transcribing the glyphs onto an old scrap of parchment. Each stroke appears to demand excruciating concentration. After a few minutes, he puts down his pen and reads out loud. When the sky mistakes the stars and the air grows thick with night, the deep will open its scars. Protect us, O oh guiding light. I only know of one guiding light, but these tablets predate the lighthouse at Greater Marrow by centuries. The fragments are fused together now. Why don't you take this back? In theory, they should open a lock somewhere, but where? Hmm. I know where. An intriguing mystery. Do let me know if you make any progress. In the meantime, do you have any trinkets for me to appraise? I don't think so. Oh, I've got these guys, actually. Hold on. Can I sell this? No. Now, it'll, now it's just to take up space. Okay, let's rest. Head over to the other side. Let's do this one. Oh, hello. Okay. Two rod spaces. Okay, we'll just install this net. Okay. So I need three. Let's take a look. What do we catch? Oh, I found the prawn. Score. Many prawn. Ancient lighthouse. You climb the many steps leading to the ancient lighthouse. At its base is a solid stone door. Okay. The fused tablet clicks into place and the door rumbles before sliding aside. You step through the doorway of the ancient lighthouse. The stairway to the top has collapsed. This is as far as you're going to get. Around you are a number of dusty objects. Some of them look valuable. 3,500. Ooh, that's much brighter than what I currently have installed. Send it to storage. Storage. Nice. You take everything from the room. Okay, so it was, it was a light. So I got a light. That's it. Ooh, mama. Yeesh. I don't want to play around with that. Oh, perfect. We found the Cusk Eel Aberration. <laughs> Infernal Eel. Cute. So we should install this then. Send that to storage. Hmm. Okay. I think these are them. Perfect. Let's use this. Brilliant. Okay. And let's get the heck out of here. Can I use this again? No, it's got a... Okay, that's fine. It has to regenerate its power. That's fine. Cool. I think I need these for that stone that I never returned to. I think that's over here. <laughs> cool. Okay. Like this. A wave washes over the fish, sweeping them away. When the water recedes, you notice something has lodged against the rock. Let's install it. Why not? I don't know. What are the repercussions of my actions? We're gonna find out. And complete our upgrades. Cool. 
It opened a door to that ruined lighthouse. Yes, that makes sense. Well, I hope you found some interesting items for me to look at. I did. Is this recharged? Yeah. Ooh, fanged cod. Perfect. Okay, three-headed cod. So I only have one more left that I need to find. Nice. We researched all the pots. Let's uninstall you. And let's reinstall. I think I want... Yeah, this one. To be reinstalled. We'll reinstall... This one, I think, I want to reinstall. <laughs> What happens if we use that? Swift Reaper. Okay. Just got an achievement for installing it. It's all good. Sure. I should use this so that I guarantee it. Nice. Decrepit biker viper fish. Neato. Oh, there we go. A rat tail. Collapse viper fish. Nasty. Let's put this thing back into. I don't know. Have I caught your aberration yet? I think so. No. Consumed grouper. Cute. Achievement unlocked unwanted. <laughs> Aha! -ha! Crown of Thorns. Well, I'm gonna install you because we're gonna go over to the Twisted Strand again. Okay. Perfect. The Gazing Shark. It's creepy looking. Ooh. Sunfish? Cool. Perfect. Razor mouth tuna. Yum. Perfect. Blistered tarpon. I don't, I hate saying perfect because yuck, but also that's what I wanted, so. Ah. Please give me an aberration. A little longer than a few minutes later. Nice. Got it. Ooh. A crooked boulder with a small, simple platform at its base, a twisted shape of deformed fish is barely recognizable. Do you want this? Oh, perfect. What the fuck is that? A tendon rod? Okay, we'll take a look at that later. Perfect. Horseshoe crab. And giant mud crab. Love it. It's everything here. Let's go talk to the lighthouse lady. What is it? What do you know about the silver and crimson book? She shudders at the very mention of the book. You're really asking me after all this time? You know it must be returned. She looks at you with deep pity. You have to move on for her sake as well as yours. Take control. Be rid of that thing for once and for all. Is that all the information I get from her? That is all the information I get. Okay. Tell me more about that book of yours. Which book? This one here? 
With a wry grin, he pulls a dusty tome from the nearest shelf and glances at the cover. There's really not much to be said of histories of the Grey Isles. It's quite a chore. Don't play dumb, you know which book I mean. Play dumb? Your hypo hypocrisy is wearying. I suppose we must go through this rigmarole uh, yet again. The Book of the Deep appears in his hands, sheathed in its dirty crimson jacket. Go ahead, ask us. Us? Where did you get it? Sparkling dust most motes hang in the air between you. Don't you remember? You were there. The air around the book begins to pulse rhythmically, like a quickening heartbeat. So was she. Who? You wanted to forget, begged me. The room bristles. This is what you asked for. Give me the book. Your words hang in the space between. You won't change a thing. The book is ours. Step closer. You take a step closer through the crackling room. The collector lurches forwards in response. What can you possibly hope to achieve? Take the book. You strike out with your fist, punching hard into the jaw of the collector. His face shatters and falls to the ground. We are the collector. You're pathetic. The Book of the Deep is in your hands. Understand this plainly before you sink us into despair. I know how to bring her back. It's all right there on the pages, and now you've seen its power firsthand. We wield the power to release her from the, her slumber. Find her last relic, and we can undo everything. Undo what you did. Uh? Now will the lighthousekeeper tell me more stuff? Because I've found out that I'm the collector, so that's nutso. Nutso crazy. I have the book. You've had it this whole time, have you not? It doesn't matter. Make the most of this window of lucidity. Now's the time to act. Do you still remember where it happened? In that gloomy darkness behind the bay? When you're ready, I'll point the way. I'm ready. Oh, is this the other ending? Love it. Yes. Yes. We must wait until night is thickest, until the ocean is at it was all those years ago. Waiting for the right time. It's time. I'll point the way. Follow my light. Go and do what's right for her. Throw it back. Okie dokie. Where is the light? Oh. Okay. You are absolutely pointing the way. So we're just going to throw the book back in the ocean? I wonder what's going to happen. This is the place. Throw it back. The book struggles in your grasp, its weight somehow shifting from side to side. Silvery ribbons flail pathetically against your fingers. Throw it back. You hold it high above your head. A low groan rumbles from the book, echoed by another from the depths. Uh-oh. <laughs> throw it back. You throw it into the foamy water. Oh boy. This is the thing that I accidentally ran into last time. <laughs> wow. So in this ending is Crater Marrow okay? Okay. So we die. But Great Omero is saved. I feel like that's probably like, that's a good ending. I liked the dramatics of the other ending, but getting eaten by a leviathan? You know what? Solid. Solid way to go. Um, super cool. 
I'm going to make sure that we collect all the fish and finish the side quests in the next episode. Uh, so this was awesome. I'm glad we got both of the endings. And they're both pretty good and they, they kind of consolidate the story a little bit. Like the fact that we are actually the collector is a really interesting twist to bring into the game. I really like that. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, go ahead and click the little, click the little like button for me. You know, why not? Why not? It gives me a happy little feeling inside and it doesn't take much effort from you anyway. Um, if you don't want to miss out on all the fun stuff that we're doing over on this channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Maybe even the little bell. Life gets busy and notification helps. Um, you don't want to miss it. You don't want to. Anyway. Thanks. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.